Evelyn Hall and Tryon, my top picks this autumn winter 2021. I've got some beautiful pieces of knitwear, smart trousers, the perfect baggy jeans, and even a dress. And to give you even more outfit ideas, I'm going to style each piece in two different ways, so there should be lots of inspiration. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit idea as we go along, and if you are enjoying the video, I would be very grateful for a thumbs up. Okay, lots of outfit ideas to share and so little time, so let's get started. So first up, let's go to one beautiful cashmere jumper. This is called the Belgian Waffle Pullover and it's been made from 100% recycled cashmere. So not only is it ridiculously soft and cozy, as you can imagine, but it's also really sustainable as well, which is something that Everlane do so incredibly well through their entire collection, to be honest. They also went for it in this beautiful color that they call Heathered Sand, but I'll show you that one in a minute. Now, as you will have seen in this footage already, um, bit of a no-brainer, but creams and all these lovely beiges, do go really nicely with lots of lovely camel tones. So I put them with a new pair of trousers that I also got from Evelyn. These are the put together pleated trousers. I'll tell you a bit more properly in a moment, but I would say those two shades look absolutely beautiful together. It's one of my favorite combinations. And to finish off that outfit idea, I added in my long camel coat. Um, I think the length of that works really nicely. And also I really like that it's another texture into the mix along with the recycled cashmere and the tensile of the trousers. So over to the second colorway now. This is the one they call Heathered Sand. I would describe this as a really sumptuous top. It's not flat at all. You know how sometimes tops can be a bit flat. This one's got more depth to it, which I really like. Really beautiful color. Although it's obviously got an undertone of brown to it, I do really like the idea of styling this with lots of deep charcoal tones. So I actually styled it with this pair of trousers that I'm wearing. And then to tie in all those tones, but add in another texture, I layered over the top this gorgeous trench coat, which I've just got in from Evelyn. This is done in the slate gray. Now, this one has been made from a blend of tensile and cotton. So definitely up my street in terms of fabric content, but isn't that color absolutely gorgeous? I think that's gonna go with so many pieces in my capsule wardrobe. I am very excited about this one. It is lighter, obviously, and I know lots of you are probably thinking, but Jessica, it's winter, I need a thick winter coat. I just love these types of fabrics and the drape that they give off, and I think it can absolutely work for autumn winter if you style it with some of these big chunky knits underneath. I do like that look. Next up in this haul and try on to a jumper that Evelyn described as cozy as a blanket and I'd have to agree that is this beautiful charcoal grey jumper that I have here. So this one has been made from a blend of wool and I think it's that touch of spandex that's giving it that very smooth and slightly stretchy feel to the knit. So as you can see in this first outfit idea I've kept it pretty classic, probably quite a go-to autumn winter look for me styling it with my leather trousers, my ankle boots, and just a handbag over my shoulder. Surprisingly, this is a hugely comfortable look, and I think that boils down to not only the fabric content of this jumper, but the shape and the length of it. I would very rarely wear those leather trousers with anything that doesn't cover my bum. On colder days, I would probably add my green wool coat to go with this look. Again, going with that quite oversized theme on my top half and keeping it quite slimline on my bottom. In the second outfit idea, I wanted to do something completely different to the first. And just really to give you an idea that jumpers like this don't have to be kept for those very casual looks. You can absolutely dress them up a bit. You two different options with that skirt outfit. I then added a belt and just cinched the jumper up and over just to change the shape a little bit. If you didn't want it coming down long, you can easily make it look like a shorter jumper as well. I personally like both looks to be honest, but do let me know in the comments below if you've got a favorite. So next up to one beautiful pair of pleated trousers done in quite possibly my favorite tone. They actually describe this color as toasted coconut, I think, but essentially it does look like a lovely deep camel tone to me. I just love that color. I find it incredibly versatile. I mean, just looking at this rail alone, I would probably wear those with pretty much everything. And in fact, the jumper that I'm wearing, 
um, I think those two go really nicely together. However, I didn't actually style it like that for you today. I've got two different outfit ideas for you. I went for these in a size four, but I will admit that I am still completely confused about what size I actually am in US sizes. I am very much a UK 10, so if anyone can give me the exact size I'm supposed to be in America, that would be wonderful, because I always feel like I get it wrong. I just think these are a beautiful pair of trousers that I will no doubt be styling in lots of different ways uh, that you'll probably see if you follow me over on Instagram too. In that first look, I went fairly smart, but still elegantly relaxed. Let's call it that. <laughs> Very much a me kind of look that I probably reach for on a daily basis. And to make it feel a little bit smarter, I switched out the jumper over my shoulders and added in my Everlane oversized blazer instead. Perhaps something you could wear to the office or if you needed a smarter look. Now I know they say black and brown should never, what is it, black and brown, frown, something like that. But I am of the opinion that extraordinary rules need an extraordinary reason for them. And as there isn't one, I'm definitely going to break that rule. I think they look really nice together. Next up onto this gorgeous jumper that I'm wearing. Now this has been made from extra fine merino. They've boiled it, then they've washed it, so it's super soft and really cozy and warm. And wearing it, I have to agree. It is available in a couple of different tones, but you know me well by now, I could not resist this deep camel tone. I love it, I think it's beautiful. So in this first look, I went super relaxed and I've paired it with a brilliant pair of slouchy jeans. Now I've gone true to size, these are a 28 regular and they are coming up super slouchy brilliantly so if you like that loose fit jeans if however you don't like them as loose fitting or slouchy as I do then I would advise sizing down for more of a slimline leg now they're available in a couple of different tones but I went for them in this light blue wash and they've got a tiny bit of distressed detailing just here and there over them which is really nice actually because it makes them feel a bit vintage they're paired with this half zip jumper and a pair of trainers on my feet I am very much in my happy place. This is probably me on a day-to-day -day basis when I haven't got any meetings, haven't got to film anything. I just want to be cozy and comfy. And yet at the same time, I feel polished enough to still head out the door, do the school run. And in this second outfit idea, I was again thinking about making use of the dresses that I've already got in my wardrobe. So I've added this snugly knit over the top of one of my bodycon dresses and added a pair of high boots underneath. None of the tones match perfectly, but they're all neutrals and they're all along a similar train of thought. And I like that mixture all blended together. It feels natural and it feels chic at the same time. Another option, of course, would be layering this half zip jumper over the cream version of this dress. And you could wear it with trainers, you could wear it with a nice pair of ballet flats, or boots again, depending on the weather. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that I love this jumper and I think it can be worn in lots of different ways. Minis are of course one of the other big fashion trends for this autumn winter 2021 and I'm really loving Everlane's interpretation of it with this beautiful dress. Now this feels amazing to wear, it's made from 100% organic cotton and although it is a bodycon dress and it's a mini, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's not too tight fitting, it's just fitting perfectly and that's going true to size actually, I went for the small as you can see there. I don't think I would ever wear a mini of any sort really without a pair of black tights, certainly in winter. I might get away with bare legs on the beach but other than that it's tights all the way. Long sleeves obviously which we all like and as you can see you can very simply add a blazer over the top to smarten up the look if you so wish. I don't actually think you need to go with a black blazer, um, that obviously works, but I do think any blazer would work. You could add camel over that, you could add grey, tweed, herringbone, I think they would all work really nicely. Second outfit idea, I went a little bit more casual and added the super cosy and a little bit stretchy jumper over the top. Um, I think tone-wise, obviously, those two work together nicely. And also really to highlight that a dress like this, paired with any of the jumpers that you might already have in your wardrobe, gives you so many more outfit ideas. I think often people think of a dress like this as one style on its own, or perhaps with different types of shoes. 
But in actual fact, once you start mixing and matching it with different jumpers that you already have in your wardrobe, you can get lots more outfit ideas. So it ends up being far more versatile than you might first think. Now going back to those gorgeous slouchy jeans, which I shall be wearing in lots of different ways this season, I've paired them with an alpaca crew neck that I've just got in, in charcoal. Now, those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for quite a long time, if you have, thank you very much, I'm very grateful, but you might recognize this jumper as I did have one of these before. However, I very stupidly put it in the washing machine and it shrunk to about this size. And I was so gutted because I really like this jumper, so I'm very pleased to have it back in my wardrobe. So obviously it's a crew neck and you've got the doubled and ribbed uh, collar there, and then going into those quite wide sleeves, I think, and then coming into the hem. I then went grey-tastic and layered the trench coat over the top, and I added a lovely cashmere stole as well. Just to make it feel really cosy, you've got all those different textures into the mix, but at the same time sticking with that grey train of thought. And there's something really elegant about these deep charcoal grey tones that I just love, particularly this season actually, I think I'm wearing more grey than I ever have before. It does feel really elegant and polished, but there's something quite effortless about it at the same time. Now, as you saw there with the alpaca crew neck, I styled those jeans quite low on my hips, despite having a belt. I wanted them very loose and slouchy to kind of go with that trend that we've been seeing a lot of. But the joy of having jeans that are a little bit slouchy or a bit too big for you, essentially, is that you can wear them in a couple of different ways. Simply doing that belt a little bit tighter, cinching them up higher on my waistband, it gives you a whole different look. And with that look, I've paired them with this lovely organic cotton shirt. Now this is called the prep shirt, I believe. 100% um, organic cotton. I've gone for this in a size four and it's got a nice wide fit across the waistband. And I think that definitely works for me. If it came up any shorter and wouldn't tuck into my trousers, I probably wouldn't reach for it very often. The difference with this shirt compared to some of the other shirts I've got in my wardrobe already is this sort of shrunken pointed collar. It feels quite masculine, slightly androgynous looking, so quite different for me and nice to add into my wardrobe. But what isn't different for me, which I do really like, is of course a beautiful puff sleeve. I love the shape of those gathering down into the hem. I think it just adds a really cute detail. Adding in another shade of brown and a bit more texture by layering this jumper over my shoulders as well. And on my feet, I'm actually wearing a pair of pointed toe flats that I got from Evelyn, I think last winter. They're not currently in stock, but um, it's worth mentioning because when they do come in stock, I would highly, highly recommend them. I have worn these so much, so much so that I actually need to get a new pair because they're looking slightly worn. Now, as you know, I much prefer a chic outfit idea over practicality, but if you are a fan of practicality and you find it really annoying to wear a jumper over your shoulders, I think a camel coat or possibly a camel trench coat would work equally well with an outfit like this. I think you can tell from this haul that I am a big fan of Everlane's knitwear. I just find them such beautiful quality. The pieces that I've had in the past are still going strong on my rail for this autumn winter and quality wise I will no doubt have it forever as well. So all of that brings me to another beautiful jumper. Now this is part of Everlane's Lofty Luxe knitwear collection. I think they've got a few different pieces and I went for this one with this front placket and the buttons down the front. So you've got a slightly higher ribbed collar there, black buttons going down the front placket here. Again, quite a boxy fit, so it's making that nice oversized shape. And this one I went for in a medium as well. In fact, I think I've gone for a medium in all of Everlane's knitwear for this autumn winter, partly because of the trends, but also I've realized that when I buy pieces slightly oversized, I can have a bit more longevity to them because there's a lot more ways to style them. I also like to have the option of tucking it in. You could maybe do like a half tuck on one side with say a long elegant skirt and a pair of ankle boots. I think that would really elevate it as well. Or obviously a piece like that is gonna look really nice, pretty chilled out as well. And the second one I went for in that lofty luxe knit would be this one in that really subtle blush tone. Now, this one in contrast to the charcoal gray has got the white buttons or the slightly beige, I suppose. I am a big fan of pinks and grays together. 
So I decided to run with that theme and I've styled it with this pair of trousers that I'm wearing again and over the top I added that gorgeous slate trench as well. I've added my little bow belly flats on my feet. They've got a very slight tinge of blush about them so I think that works nicely and they're ridiculously comfy as well so that is probably a realistic way I would wear this outfit. And in a mooching about the shops kind of fashion, I would more than likely pair my big Le Cabas tote with an outfit like this so I can take everything with me that I might possibly need. These jumpers have a very handmade feel about them, both in the yarn that's been used and the style of knit. It's just one of those super cozy, snuggle up on the sofa kind of jumpers that we all like to have, especially once it gets freezing outside. And that is just about it. My Everlane haul and try on with all my picks from the new autumn winter 2021 collection is complete. I'm really, really happy with this rail. I think I've got some beautiful pieces. Everything actually works well together as well. So I know I can mix and match all those outfit ideas. I'm very, very happy with everything I chose. But I would love to hear from you. Do let me know in the comment section below which was your favourite outfit idea or the favourite way I styled any particular piece. It's always really nice to hear from you all. And most importantly, I hope you really enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. It's given you lots of outfit ideas and a good insight into everything that's new in at Everlane this season. Don't forget, if you've not already given this video a thumbs up and you did enjoy it, I would be very grateful if you would do so. And also, if you're not already subscribed, that would be really lovely too. I will be back next week with loads more outfit ideas, so hopefully you will join me then. Have a good week, everyone. Take care.